Casey K. some more. Missing airliner. One thing is certain. Missing people and things never fail to fascinate us. So speaking on the subject tonight, we have a very special TSW 720 where we're talking to not one, not two, but three experts on the subject. First up, let's welcome professional in all things missing, Alphonse Fredrickson! <laughs> Did you find the place okay? Well. <laughs> well, uh, at least I'm not late. I sometimes lose track of the time. <laughs> Is your watch missing? It's not That's funny! Not late. <laughs> this is my grandfather's watch! It's, it's, okay, you'll find it. You probably just left it at home. You gotta call my. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is your cell phone missing now? It's not funny! <laughs> so, you get, get it right, you're right. Just, why don't you just have a seat? We'll finish the interview and I'll help you look for it. <laughs> There was a chair here! <laughs> what are you doing? Alphonse, I'm <laughs> not doing anything. The chair is right behind you. Ah! <laughs> Sorcerer! <laughs> Alphonse Fredrickson, everybody. Sometimes things are found, and this week, after 500 years, the Santa Maria was found. So I figured we would bring out a historian and author of the Santa Maria, the greatest maritime mystery. Please put your hands together for Arthur Barnaby Winthrop. <laughs> Hi, Barnaby. Hi. So, I don't know if you heard the news, but an underwater explorer claimed to have found Christopher Columbus's legendary flagship, the Santa Maria. Yeah. You must be absolutely thrilled by this news. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but you devoted your entire life to writing about the disappearance of the Santa Maria. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say I devoted my entire life. Well, you wrote books about it. Yeah, maybe one or two. <laughs> one or two. You wrote an entire series of books. And as a matter of fact, I brought, I brought the covers so everybody could go out and buy them. Would you like to see no, those? No, 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 let's no, show. no, Please, no. Let's bring the lights no, out so everybody don't. can see. Stop. The first one. Stop. It's the Santa Maria, the Great Maritime Mystery, which was a great book. But the second in the series no, is even better. Just, the Santa Maria <laughs> isn't even findable. <laughs> No, 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 the third one's my favorite, absolutely. Santa Maria isn't even findable. Let's do the next one. The Santa Maria, the ship that will never be found. Stop or I'll kill you. Oh, and everybody, I know all of you saw him on the Today Show plugging his latest book. The Santa Maria, so I am, it will never be found. I pledge to give my entire life savings to whoever finds it, plus I'll eat a giant sock monkey. <laughs> Why didn't you stay hidden, you fall of the deep? <laughs> Santa Maria, you've sunk my life. <laughs> oh, Barnaby Winthrop, author, everybody. Our final guest is the man who actually, the man who actually found the Santa Maria. Please put your hands together for underwater explorer, Barry Clifford! Clifford! Where's that scurvy name, Barnaby? I'm here to claim me prize, and I brought supper. <laughs> I think it went that away. Barnaby, I hope thou art hungry, you scallywag. <laughs> Barry Clifford! <laughs> and our other experts! Let's hear from them all! I 
just thought I could have brought them all out at the same time. <laughs> and finally, Friday was Barbara Walters' final day on The View. Barbara says she's looking forward to a life filled with, quote, West and relaxation. <laughs> and a lot of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 